All right, so back to another calculus video on increasing, decreasing functions, the first derivative test. I thought it was only fitting that we did something related to the coronavirus since we're all sitting at home. So I have this problem in the book that's about uh, trachea contraction and coughing forces, which interesting, maybe, uh, maybe more interesting now than normal, but I'll go ahead and share that with you and we'll do some calculus. So let me share the problem first. Let's take a look. So if you look here, it's problem number 97. So it says coughing forces the trachea or your windpipe to contract, which affects the velocity V, the air passing through the trachea. The velocity of the air is given. It's V equals K times capital R minus R times R squared from where R is greater than or equal to zero and less than R. It says K is a constant, R, capital R is the normal radius of the trachea, and lowercase r is the radius during coughing. Um, what, is, what radius will produce the maximum air velocity? So of course to find the maximum, that's what we've been practicing. We're gonna find the derivative, set it equal to zero, um, and either make our derivative line or um, just kind of use common sense here to see which one of these values fits what we're trying to find. So let's go ahead and look at what we have here. So like I said, capital R is the normal radius of the trachea, lowercase r, how the radius is changing during coughing, and k is a constant. So if we want to take the derivative, right, k the constant, we're not going to worry about right now. We're just going to keep that along for the ride. In here, we have two things multiplied together. So we're, of course, going to use the product rule. So the derivative of V, we'll call V prime. We have our constant K, and then the product rule will take first times the derivative of the second, the derivative of the second, derivative of R squared would be two R, plus the second R squared times the derivative of the first. Now, because the capital R is the normal radius of the trachea, right, that is not changing, so that is also a constant. So really, I just need to find the derivative of this negative r, which would be negative 1. So from there, I'm just going to do some simplifying. So r times 2r, we got 2r r minus 2r squared minus r squared. Combine my like terms, I get negative 3r squared with the K still on the outside because it's a constant. So now I wanna take my derivative, set it equal to zero. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this derivative, set it equal to zero, right? The K is just a constant, I can divide that over, so I will get rid of that. So all I'm left with is this, right? Now I can say, well, what, what do these have in common? Is there a GCF? There's a lowercase r in common, which I can factor out. If I factor it out, I'm left with this. Two things multiplied together to be zero. I have my zero product property. So the zero product property, I can take the first piece, set it equal to zero. Second piece, set it equal to zero, right? So if I wanna solve for r, I'm gonna add my three r over divide by three, so r is gonna be two-thirds, capital R, so two-thirds the normal radius of the trachea. So if you think about our derivative line, right? Normally we'd make this and we'd say, well here r is zero and r is two-thirds r, right? So normally I'd go back, plug this in, um, I'd find whether the slope was positive or negative, is it going increasing to decreasing or de decreasing to increasing, is it a max or a min? But I think we can avoid that in this one, just using a little common sense. So for this one, it says that the radius is zero, right? And if you think about the radius of zero, right, if the radius of your trachea is zero, it would have a max velocity with no air flowing through. Right, if the radius is zero, there is no hole, there's no air, no air getting through, so that can't be your maximum flow, right? If we think of this one, 
right? The radius is two thirds, so two thirds capital R, which is the normal radius of the trachea, and that would provide the max velocity of a cough. So this would be your max velocity of a cough, right? Your max velocity of a cough cannot be when your radius is zero. You have no airflow at a radius of zero. So I think with common sense, we can stop here and say that this is where our max velocity would occur, all right? So that's it for that video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it made it relative to what we're going through right now, right? If you wanna produce the max velocity of a cough, just try to control your trachea to a radius that's two thirds its normal state. Um, how you do that? That's for somebody else to determine. I'm just here for the math. So if you could make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and we will be back probably tomorrow with some more calculus, geometry, and stat videos. So see you then.